Howdy, Buffalo Bart here, and welcome. Just doing some fiddle farting around here. Better than the, um, the Explorer, and kind of screwing around with my, um, vehicle system. So one of the things I'll need to do is actually I have to set up a uh, system for riding the vehicle if I flip it. Yay, I can parachute. And cannot get in from this side. So, alright. Good to go. And one thing somebody was asking me really quickly. Um, doesn't matter which one I go into. When you're trying to set up um, a random integer, right click type in random integer I-N-T-E-G-E-R so you can do random integer or random integer in range is the two that I use the most common um, so random integer if you just want to set a maximum only of 100 then there you go or a maximum of five we'll say or if you want from one to twenty five and then to retrieve a value from that like if you're doing from random integer you can drag off from that and hit the equals key twice equals equals and you get this equal integer so now what you'll do is put in here if this random integer is equal to zero or change that to three then put a branch node in and connect this to wherever you're working and then just connect that to there what I would do is like zero is equal equal zero is it the random integer equal to zero then yes do this if not then create another one and go down to here and again you can drag from that and do equal equal and say okay if it's not equal to zero is it equal to one if yes then do this if not do that so I mean you don't have to actually do it for each individual one you could actually set it up to do a random integer and if it's equal equal to three equal equal to three they run a branch node and you'll run this off of your normal wherever you're working so if it is equal equal is equal to three then print text hello I am number damn three so that's it simple as that and apparently somebody wasn't paying attention so the one person that was asking me that I can't see chat in discord so I mean in, I can only see it in discord I cannot see in the stream right now until they fix streamlabs um, so I am watching the Unreal Engine 4 section general of my discord that's the only channel I'm watching so if you want to ask questions ask it there can't find my live stream huh go to youtubes.com and I'm going to my channel from here but you would search for my channel over here because you're a subscriber it'll, it'll come up over here and then you'll see it right there and I'm gonna have to mute it because it'll then hey look I can get a reference to it right there and well, there you go. So, why does it say that? 
I changed that shit. Well, let me go back to it one more time. I have changed the information on that stream. Why does YouTube suggest such garbage? Let's go already. Um, okay, well... Polygon Battle Royale, working on features. That's the current live stream. Why the hell does it say parachute jump plane? That was the last stream. The current name is Polygon Battle Royale, working on features. I have no clue what the hell's going on there. So, anyway, yes, I see that you found it. Okay, so again, really quickly, um, uh, if you want to find a random integer, right click, and just type in random integer, I N T E G E R. So, random integer or random int, you can type it in I N T, integer from stream. I've never used that before, so you could do random integer and range. These are the two that I use most frequently is random integer and random integer and range. So this one you can set the maximum to be five, five million, whatever you want it to be. This one you can be from zero to ten. And if you wanted 10 options, then you would just do 9. 0 to 9 would be 10. So, since I have all kind of dyslexic issues and OCD issues, I put the minimum of nine of 1 and the maximum of 10 if I'm looking for 10. I always set my minimum to 1 because, you know, I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, that way. And if you want to find out, okay, what if it's equal to whatever, just hit the equal key and equal to... So you hit equal equal and it gives you this node here. And then you can run a branch node. Simple, hold down the B key and left click and it creates a branch node. Connect it to there, connect this to whatever you're working on. And if it is equal to zero, then do this. Or say you're trying to, to only, if you only care that it comes up to the number three. And then you can say, is it equal to three? If so, do this. If not, do that. Simple enough. Right? Right. Simple. Alright, so let's get out of the Jeep. I'm actually going to go back to my big map. I didn't change anything in this freaking map, you asshole. Tonight's drink of choice. Cherry Coke. Alright, so I'm actually going to spawn my Jeep in here. And the Jeep is actually a character. And I'm just going to rotate it around. That's lovely. And we'll put it right over here. And we'll hit play. Okay, so I've added the, my custom mesh of the airplane with the ramp. So you can walk in and the wheels are down and that kind of stuff. You can hear the engine idling on the Jeep over here. You can change the attenuation on that engine a little bit. What I was doing was working on changing it to where it detected whatever mesh the player is and automatically change the um, the static mesh of the driver to match whatever that is. Still got to play around with the physics on the Jeep a little bit because, you know, I'll use this same system basically for um, working on other vehicles, making them work from this asset pack. But like I said, I've got to spend some time to actually work on the vehicle itself. 
And weird is whenever you get to a certain speed, the uh, engine sounds go away. Let's go to the bigger map. Um, this is the the map that I created in that other stream that was um, about using real world, real world terrains. And I'm not sure exactly why my health bar is showing zero. Oh, I know why it's showing zero. It is because whenever you are in the Jeep, you have taken possession. You are now the Jeep. So the Jeep has health. It would have health. Since you are no longer the player underscore base, then... Let's choose the first person view. Uh, since you're no longer player underscore base, or the third person character, your health doesn't show. Because you're not that anymore. The tab key is for changing views. Alright, so yeah, this is kind of where I'm at right now. The parachute feature works just fine. Um, the vehicle feature is apparently working. Everything still needs a lot of tweaks. But I had to have my Jeep in here so I could explore and drive around and check out the terrain and that kind of stuff. Need to adjust the torque settings and the steering and the the mass and things like that. To make sure that this actually climbs like a Jeep does. Fun's gonna be setting up the motorcycle. But it shouldn't be too bad. I need to um, set it up so that whenever you're turning it leans. I had to make sure it was able to drive around and get back over here to the runway. Now the hundred thousand dollar question is: Can I put this some bitch in the back of the jeep, and uh, the jeep in the back of the uh, the plane? And that would be a yes. But here's where the problem is going to come into: is whenever I get out, uh, got no room to move around here. So I have to get back in and get the Jeep out. There's still some sound bugs and, you know, this is not 100%, but I wonder if I can jump off of the cliff and use my parachute. Yay, we have parachutes. Let's set up a sprint feature. That's what I can do right now. Um, let's see, drive the Jeep. Oh, I gotta start cleaning up some of this stuff here. Um, this is the... Well, I'm just gonna include all of this stuff here. This is... Parachute... Crapola. Just so I can now grab it by the scruff of its neck and throw its ass over there. And that's the event tick, so I'm just going to throw it over here. I'm going to, at some point, come back and get it off of the event tick. And this is where I'll screw around trying to um, set up a current mesh uh, so that I could get the Jeep to, to do that. But if you notice the normal character movement uh, of max walk speed is 600. Um, for giggles right now, I'm going to type in keyboard shift, left shift, and I'll do this on a press and release instead of a flip-flop. So whenever I do press down the left shift key, we need to first off get a reference to our character movement. And we want to set max walk speed. And I will control C and control V that sucker. So now I can connect that to here and that to here. And set max walk speed to 800 and 600. 
Oh, would you kiss my anus? Compile and save. So now, if we're running sprint, we can run faster, yay, slow down, sprint. It is actually working, it's just not noticeable. Shits and grins, let's make it even faster. This is not something that I would normally do. It would actually slow the normal walk speed down. So it's more drastic, you can actually see. Over here, and... Jump. Parachute. And yes, you can turn, you can steer. You can't go up and down, there's no change on that, but... You can actually steer which way you're going whenever you're parachuting. I need to come up with a way of actually saying that, um... You can't just jump and hit your parachute. Because that's just kind of silly, and that would get abused really quickly. So I need to set up, um, like, is in air to to find that if you've been in the air for more than a second, we'll say, or three seconds or whatever, so that you can't just run over here and jump and spam your parachute. Because, you know, somebody will abuse that. And see, all I did was I hit player start, hit the F key, and it focused on the thing that I had selected. So if I'm way over here, I'm like, crap, where the hell am I? Select my Jeep, hit F, and I can now focus on it. So it'll get me back to where I needed to go. You can always use your light source. Oh, that's going to bring me back to the center of the map. Um, click on something, hit F, if you can see it. It's just ways you can navigate to a, a certain area faster. But this is cool, you know. This was just a quickly slapped together terrain from the video the other day. You know, I'd go back in there and I'd repaint the mountains and change the uh, the stuff in here. You see, this is sticking through the ground a little bit. So shouldn't matter if I have it up here; it should fall to the ground and sit appropriately. Because it, 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 this is essentially a player character. And what you're doing is you're actually taking possession of it whenever you uh, get into it. As you can see, when you start flipping this things, the, the mass is all wrong on it. I guess the, the thing you could do is just... Or just hit escape and hit play again. Jump in here, drive it off a cliff, see if you can get out and deploy your parachute. That would be a yes. And since I was accelerating whenever I got out of it, it's just I gotta fix the acceleration thing too. Whenever you get out of the vehicle, acceleration needs to stop. So all right, was well, there any other questions while I'm fiddling? He said, I cannot see the chat in YouTube. So if you've got questions, you need to ask them in Discord so I'll see them. And this one, let's create some folders here. Map, Shitola. Nobody else is going to see this stuff anyway. And then I could do characters. So we do the Jeep and the player start. We're going to that. And props. Having a neat and organized um, map and everything else just comes in quite handy. I do this as runway. Another thing I want to look into is actually using these road sections and creating a spline actor from that and seeing if I can actually just use it as a spline actor for making roads and actually just, you know, run the spline actor wherever I want it to go. Um, let's see. Those are our props. 
You see, this is a whole lot easier to look at than all those things right here, all these different actors. Just a little nicer to look at and easier to, to keep up with. So yeah, this was the map that I was starting to work with. I was going to make this into the, the airbase here, and then I was going to do something like um, a crashed plane down here, maybe. And the only reason why I put the uh, Explorers in here is because I like that Jeep. <laughs> I'm a Jeep guy. You guys should know that by now. Meshes, environment, or is it props? Hmm. It might be in vehicles. Yeah, it is. The the damaged broken vehicles are in here. So I'll grab the plane destroyed and make it look like it crashed into the mountain and slid down. And it's just laying right here. Close enough for now. We just want to make it look like it hit the mountain and crashed. Good enough. But I could also put these um, other vehicles and stuff like that. Yeah. See, okay, this is the. All right, you got to turn around. Got a tank sitting there. Well, let's put two of them in there. And let's change this so it's crooked a little bit. You don't want everything to be completely, perfectly straight. Um, I'm gonna have a. Everybody likes a good Hummer every now and then, right? I'm talking about the vehicle right here, the Hummer, LV. And let's put Doom Buggy in there, and let's put the motorcycle in here. Now, if we go to set up the motorcycle, um, being that it is two-wheeled vehicle, uh, it's going to be interesting. So, what I've got here is animations for the Jeep. I've got an animation blueprint for it. And if you open up the animation blueprint for the Jeep, you can see there's nothing in the event graph whatsoever. Um, in the anim graph, all you have is that mesh space, reference pose. So, you actually have to have a reference pose, I guess, for it. Um, wheel handler component to local. I mean, all I really did was I took and um, I retargeted to the Jeep. And what I retargeted was the vehicle. Um, and I think it's in vehicle blueprints. No, it's actually in vehicle. So I, what I did was I went here and I add new feature or content pack and I added in vehicle and vehicle advanced and the only reason why I've got vehicle advanced in right now is because I wanted the engine sounds that's the only reason mesh sedan yeah in the root sedan folder there's sedan animation blueprint and what you've got to do is you retarget that over to whatever skeleton you're working on and what I did was I created a I thought I did um, I thought he created a separate, um, so if you look at Sedan Skeleton, Retarget Manager, no, I guess I didn't do it. Um, sometimes whenever I'm doing that, I'll actually, um, I'll create a, a like the, the humanoid rig, I'll create a rig for it, and I didn't do it this time. I don't think I did. It are working, so, hmm. So let's actually look in here and get animations, Jeep. Now the reason why I give it its own folder is what if I decide I want the doors to open? Um, then I could set up an animation system for it to open. So I'll come in here and create a new folder. Bikes. In case there's more than one motorcycle. 
and the I'm gonna have to create another one of these so what I'll do is I'll duplicate my sit down and bike underscore writer and I'll just manipulate his body around a little bit there's no there's a no animation frames this is just a reference pose you know, I'll just create a reference pose for that and then um, I will manipulate it to fit to where it looks like it's actually on the motorcycle so on bikes let's go to our vehicle I'm sorry our sedan you know what I think I did and in the Explorer, try before you buy asset pack that I'm, I'm trying to refine on this one. The um, yes, I'm opening up a second copy of Unreal Engine 4 right now. So in that asset pack or asset system, the Jeep animation blueprint. If I look in vehicle sedan, I did. I made a um, a rig. So I need to probably do that too. I thought I did, you know. So let's go to our sedan skeleton and see there is none here. So to create one, what you can do is right click on the skeleton, create and create rig. And I'm gonna leave all of these things in here for right now because this is one that I want to work so sedan skeleton rig that's good enough and I'll do this again create no I'm not gonna do that just yet I'm, I'm gonna experiment with the motorcycle and see what happens here so if go to here Let's go to my mesh and let's actually drag out the motorcycle mesh or skeleton right there and I'm gonna copy that over because I'm gonna screw around with it so mesh right there and copy here go to my mesh folder and bike as I'm probably going to end up deleting this anyway so I'm going to go into the skeleton and I have nothing on it whatsoever the rig that I want to use is my sedan skeleton rig save I'm going to exit and I'm going to go ahead and because I don't want to screw with the originals I'm going to screw around with this because I've never set up a motorcycle this way I've done it another way and you know what screw it I'm gonna try it what worst can happen worst can happen is it just doesn't work so I'm gonna copy that over to my mesh folder um, right there mesh and I'm gonna rename that um, SK underscore No, we're going to do SM underscore skeletal mesh underscore bike. And then right click on it, skeleton, assign skeleton, bike, and there you go. Save all. And I'm going to get rid of you. Now we actually have one we can drop into the map and it works. Um, the next thing to do is probably go to my character blueprints. And I'm going to duplicate the Jeep and create a motorcycle. And for now, grab the mesh for that. I don't have an animation for it just yet, but we just want to see. What do you mean you can't find that skeletal mesh?
Um, yeah, we can close you. I don't need you anymore. That's a skeletal mesh. There we go. So, it is... Mm, the camera is not centered, so I will move the camera. And this guy can come over here. And let's just center it up and make it a little bit wider. So we can get onto it from either side. Yeah, those I'm not worried about. This is just purely experimental. I was just dragging you sorry guys along while I'm trying to screw around with this. Because sometimes things work, sometimes they just total train wrecks. Um, next thing I need to do is make the animation blueprint for it. And in animations I have bikes. So we need to go back to Sedan Skeleton. Use the skeleton, the rig, uh, the the rig that I created, and now retarget to the bike. And what I forgot to do was. You guys are letting me forget to do things here. Apply to asset. And it's already set up for that rig. Now I can do that. Retarget. Bike. Replace. Sedan. Anim. With. Bike. Underscore. A. Change the folder to characters, animations, bikes. Retarget, and it's there. Whether this crap all works or not, I don't know. So let's grab the mesh, change the animation instance class to bike, compile, save. And this is probably going to be a train wreck, but you know what? Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Let me on the bike, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Oil well. Um, yeah, so let's go back in here to the blueprint for the bike. And we can do a couple different things here. Vehicle movement. And if we look under vehicle movement, type in wheel. This is one problem here that we need to fix. So let's look at the skeleton. And there we go. We have vehicle. Alright, so you got that. So we'll use this for the front wheel. We'll right click on it, copy, selected bone name. Come over here, and this is the front left. And all I want to do is just click in there and control V. And front right, we'll do the same thing. And then we go back to here, and we want the rear wheel. Right click, copy, go back here, click here, rear, control V, rear, control V, and compile and save. It's probably still not going to work right.
So let's try making the um, the box collision a little bit bigger, just for the hell of it. Let me on you, you son bitch. So yeah, this is gonna be something that I'm gonna have to play around with. This is it just started rolling on its own and and it falls over. Oh well, that's something I'll figure out. Hey, you think there's an error? No. Yeah, because what I need to do is I need to create my own rig now and bike create rig. Okay. And use bike rig. Save. Come back to you. You know, I don't know if that's a thing or not, because if we do like this right here, this has got all the correct things in it now on the skeleton. It's still going to fall down because it's two wheels and it doesn't have gravity. It's not reacting well to gravity here. What would happen if we had it leaning next to something? so it doesn't fall over. It still falls over. So what if we make it lean to the correct direction to keep it from completely falling over? It still falls over. Alright, well, I thoroughly don't give a shit right now. fall over the wrong way, you bastard. I mean, I'm telling you to roll that way. And it still rolls the other way. I know what you're thinking. If it's going to fall that way, you might as well straighten the damn thing back out and put it on the other side. And then it'll fall the other way. <laughs> oh well like I said I'm going to have to go through and, and do some tweaking you think there was an error? huh alright simulated physics alright yeah I'll, I'll screw around with this some other time hey force delete go away And you can go away. Force delete. I don't care. Break everything in the process. You can go away to force delete. There. I don't remember changing any of all those other damn things it wanted me to, to save. What in the hell? What, did I kill my animations? Couldn't find... Well, of course. Because nothing's using that skeleton right now. Um... Yeah. I deleted my mesh. <laughs> oh. And. And. 
do history is empty way to go you are such a dumbass well easy enough to fix characters <sighs> drag that over to mesh copy here and go there this was sk underscore polygon then now go back to characters select you through you and you assign skeleton yeah I totally broke the hell out of that shit You know, I still haven't come up with a good method for doing a batch on these. It's like the skeleton itself just doesn't show as an option in the other uh, the batch. So I did try, and I just haven't seen a, a good way of doing this as a batch, other than doing this the slow way. And let's see if I can repair this without having to redo every damn thing in the planet here. Polygon Explorers. Character, you two guys. Assign Skeleton. Save all. And now, let's see if I totally foobarred my... Yeah... Would I like to choose a new one? Yes, I would. So now let's see if it works. Gee, I unscrewed it. Well, sort of. Really? Alright, let's look in the... Cheap animation blueprint. Nope, that's fine. The character blueprint. And since it's being a total douche nozzle, let's change that over to... Where the hell is the mercenary? Mercenary mail right there and son of a bitch I got rid of my driving didn't I no I didn't it's still there other well killed that so There we go. And let's fix parachute. <coughs> All right, we're good. <coughs> All right, I unscrewed myself, I believe. All right, so now parachuting is working again and their jeep is hello you pain in the ass what in the hell yeah I'm gonna spend some time working on the physics on the jeep This thing sucks. But this was, you know, wasn't complete to begin with. Alright guys, I'm gonna take a break. And since I just screwed up everything and have to fix had to fix it all, 
it wants me to rebuild lighting just for one freaking object. So, you know what? I'm going to kick out of here and it is after one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to be available on Discord for a little while, but I'm probably going to go ahead and go to bed for in here shortly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.